Our Bracing for the Burn series of special reports continues tonight as homeowners face increasing insurance rates due to wildfire risks. Some major insurance companies have already bailed out of California. CBS 8's David Godfordson is working for you to find solutions to the statewide fire insurance crisis. As you can see, my roof here is uh, fire uh, resistant, in my opinion, fireproof. Brian Yates lives in a master planned housing complex in Campo with more than 200 homes. And while Campo may be considered a high risk wildfire zone, Brian's neighborhood looks more like a suburban community. So I even have a fire hydrant up on my property, as you see here. The single father of four says he had farmers homeowners insurance for the past 12 years. But when his policy came up for renewal last month, he says farmers wanted to raise his annual premium from $1,000 to $6,000 due to wildfire risk, a 600 percent increase. There was no warning um, on the renewal, and they basically just stuck it to you, and then, and then you're left with the decision whether to pay it or leave. Did you consider paying the $6,000 at any point? Oh, I couldn't afford it. Not on my salary. Not for what I make. I, there's no way. Brian was forced to switch to the California Fair Plan, a state-run and insurance industry-funded policy of last resort. With that, I'm still paying $600 more, and it's with basic coverages. I mean, bare minimum with a $20,000 deductible, whereas before I had like a $500 deductible. Brian says his agent told him insurance companies can charge more because there's less competition. Now that Allstate and State Farm have stopped writing new homeowners policies in California. Farmers Insurance sent me a statement saying rates are designed to reflect risk level. An industry spokesperson told me it's all about losses from recent wildfires. The insurance industry's lost 20 years worth of underwriting profit in the last six to eight years. Janet Ruiz is with the industry funded Insurance Information Institute. She says insurance companies are facing wildfire risk, climate change, increased construction costs, and inflation, resulting in loss of profits. We have to make sure that we collect enough premium to be able to pay our losses. This is a financial business that, you know, has to stay solvent. While insurance premiums do continue to go up, there is a new law in California that can help you get discounts on your homeowner's insurance. That's right, discounts when you harden your home against wildfires. And that just makes sense, right? If you put money into protecting your, your home or your property against a wildfire, the insurance company should give you a discount commensurate with that. Harvey Rosenfield is the founder of the nonprofit Consumer Watchdog. He told me the upcoming fire mitigation discounts are a good thing, but there is a loophole. The loophole allows an insurance company, if they don't want to give you a discount, it allows the insurance company to non-renew you instead. The discounts still need state approval, and they will be different for each insurance company. But in April, for example, State Farm proposed giving homeowners a 2% discount for installing a Class A fire rated roof, a 1% discount for clearing defensible space, and a 2% discount for homes in a CAL FIRE designated FireWise USA community. The new law also will allow homeowners to request from their insurance agent the wildfire risk score for their home. The insurance companies are supposed to tell you what the score is and how they had arrived at the score so that people will start to get their scores and understand how much they're going to save by doing whatever they can do to protect their property. Now you can enter your home address online and get a free risk assessment for your property by going to the Insurance Information Institute website. We've posted a link at CBS8.com. David, a lot of concerning developments there for homeowners, but uh, you had a little bit of potential good news there. When will homeowners be able to start requesting those fire mitigation discounts on their homes? 
We expect those discounts amounts to be approved by the end of the year, and uh, you would apply for the discounts uh, through your insurance agent. Also, when your insurance policy comes up for renewal, whenever that renewal date is, your insurance company is required to send you your home's wildfire risk score, so keep an eye out for that. All right, David Gopperson reporting for us on the fire insurance situation in the state. Thanks, David.